Preschoolers love trying to do things like grown-ups. <laughs> they like to press buttons on computers, they jump high to throw basketballs, or stir food to make sure something is yummy to eat. Being able to say they can do things like mommy or daddy is a big deal. This month, we are teaching preschoolers something else they can do that's a really big deal. They can love like Jesus. That's right. We want preschoolers to know that they can love like Jesus, and when they love like Jesus, it's like tossing confetti. <laughs> we will begin the month with a very special story about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. Jesus did this to show everyone who would follow him what it looked like to love the way he loves. It's not exactly what Jesus' first disciples thought love would look like, but when we put other people first and serve them, we love like Jesus. Week two is a beautiful story about a woman who was so desperate to be healed from 12 years of sickness that she risked everything just to touch Jesus' clothes. Yes, her body was healed, but the woman also got to experience the kind words of Jesus. See, kindness is powerful because when we are kind, we love like Jesus. Week three, we will hear a miraculous story about Jesus feeding over 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. As Jesus watched the crowd of people walking towards him, Jesus wanted to help them by giving them food. So that's what he did. And when we take the time to help others, we love like Jesus. Week four, we get to meet Peter, Andrew, James, and John, along with the other eight men Jesus chose to be his disciples. As we get to know the different backgrounds and professions of those first 12, we quickly see that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what. And when we love everyone, we love like Jesus. Serving others, showing kindness, helping and loving everyone. These are the things that even our youngest can do. And when we do, we love like Jesus.